What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to control the banner height of index pages with CSS in Squarespace. All right, before we begin, there's something that I've been thinking about that I want you guys to think about too. We've grown such an awesome community in the Squarespace customization resource group, Facebook group. I feel like I, we just have such a solid community of like people helping each other, and I feel like we need a name. I start off every tutorial with, what's up guys? But we're more than just guys, we're more than just girls. We are Squarespace web designers who want to create more custom websites through CSS. So I feel like, I don't know, we, we need some sort of a name for our awesome community that we've grown and fostered and helped each other with. So if you guys have any ideas for names that we could call ourselves, uh, leave them down in the comments below. It could be like Squarespace Army, Squarespace Family, Squarespacers. I don't know. That's why I need your help. So if you guys can think of a name for our awesome community, I think that would be really cool. Um, and it would just, I don't know, make our community even more close-knit. So something to think about. All right. Now let us jump in to the actual tutorial. So I talked about a little bit in the intro what today's tutorial is going to be about, but I think it needs a little more explanation. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say you start a website and this the reason that I'm sharing this tutorial with you is because this is a method that I use all the time on the sites that I design. So I love for my homepage to have this big like full width image. I think it's just such a a good way for a visitor to land on a page and and usually the photography is like really big and beautiful so I really love this design of this like full height banner image and that's really easy to set up you can do that in the site styles in the brine template but the problem with that is that it applies it to the first page of every index so for example on my about page it's just a regular page the banner is really small has the content below but then let's say I want another like regular looking page, but my services page is going to have a lot of different sections and I have to design it with an index page. Well, now my services page looks completely different than my about page. And that's not very good in terms of like the continuity of the design. So this tutorial is for you guys when you need to design with an index page, but you don't want it to resemble the home page. You would you want it instead to resemble the other regular pages on the website. So that's what today's tutorial is going to be about. I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, control the height of your index banner images. Okay, so let's jump into the code here. If I right click and click inspect, we're just going to look at the structure of index pages and how we're going to tackle this. So we can see that every index page gets a main class of index. It also gets this unique data collection ID. And remember, anytime you see ID, that means it's a unique value and it will only appear once. So this data collection ID is unique to this index page and it it's this big long string of like random letters and numbers. So this is a unique identifier for this individual index page. And within the index page, there are a bunch of sections, and each section is uh, the pages that you've added to the index. And you can see when you set a min height in the site styles, it applies this min height to the first section in the index. So we have an index, unique ID, and then the first section gets the min height. And then obviously none of the other sections are going to get that min height, only the first page we'll get it okay so this is knowledge that we have to use uh, for our targeting of the custom CSS okay so I'm gonna go to my services page and this is the page that I want to look like my regular about page I don't want it to be this full height banner section okay so if I right click I know that I have to target the index page first. So in my custom CSS window, I'm going to write index 
and we target indexes with a period. So dot index. And I want to target the first section in the index because again, it's the first section that has the min height. So what I'm going to do is within this index, I'm going to target the section. And I only want to target the first child. So what that means is within this index, you can see that there's a bunch of children of this parent index. So the index is the parent, and then each section is a child of that index. So I only want to target the first child, because it's the first child that has this min height. So again, we're targeting this index, and we only want the code to apply to the first section. And I'm going to open up some curly brackets. And now I'm going to set the min height for this section to initial. And I have to add an important tag. And now you can see the banner immediately jumps up and we no longer have the 100 viewport height applied to any index section. So if I go back to the home, it removed it from this index, it removed it from all indexes on the website. Well, if you remember on the home page, I want the min height to be applied. So what we can do is we can say for every index except for, and how you say except for is by adding a not and some parentheses. And remember, each index gets a unique ID. So I'm going to say every index except for the index with this data collection ID. So I'm going to copy everything, including the data collection ID words themselves. And within, the curly, within these uh, parentheses, I'm going to open up some brackets. And within the brackets, I'm just going to paste that data collection ID. So now if I go back to the services page, cool, no longer getting the 100% viewport height on the services page because this code is applying to everything except for this unique index. So now I can add as many index pages as I want to the website and none of them will get that 100% viewport height except for my home page, which is exactly what I want. But there's some additional code that we need to add because it's so obvious that this is an in index page because one, we have this scroll indicator here. And if we look at the about page, uh, it has less padding. So there's a little bit more code that we need to write. So I'm gonna drop down below this min height line and I'm going to jump into the code. Um, so first we need to determine what we wanna set our padding to. So if I come to this about page and click inspect and uh, okay here we see we're in the intro and then if I hover down to this child element uh, you can see the green is the padding being applied to this element. So we can see the padding on the top is 100 pixels and the padding on the bottom is 100 pixels. And if we go to the services section and inspect the padding on the element Oops, this period is just breaking it. If I right click, then I can see that the padding on this index page, the padding top is 145 pixels and the padding on the bottom is 145 pixels. So we just have to overwrite that code for the dot index page content, which is this class that the padding is being applied to. We just have to set these to 100 and then it'll better match uh, our regular pages. So. If I come down here within the curly brackets of this code, I'm going to target that dot index page content class. Open up some more curly brackets and I'm going to say padding top 100 pixels 
and I'll just copy and paste that and change that to padding bottom. Okay, awesome. So now our, our banner even better matches our about page. And the last thing that we have to do is just get rid of the scroll indicator because that's a dead giveaway that this is an index page. So that is really easy to do. If I right click on the scroll indicator itself, you can see in the code that the scroll indicator gets this class of index page scroll indicator. So I'm just gonna copy that class And I'm going to add a period to target the class. And I'm going to set its display to none. And now it completely disappears. So now we can preview the site. So now we have a big full index banner on the home page, which is exactly what we want. On our about page, we have just the regular banner. And on our services page and every other index that we add, it'll now match the other regular pages on our site, but we'll still have all the ability to add index sections to this index, even though it appears like a regular page on the site. All right, guys, that is it for today. In the comments below, let me know what we should call ourselves. We have such an awesome community. Joe, shout out to you for starting the customization resource group. But again, let me know what we should call ourselves in the comments below. All right, as a reminder, go ahead and sign up for my free four-day e-course on learning custom CSS. That will be coming out shortly. Link in the description below. And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're enjoying my content. I'm going to have tons more Squarespace customization videos and tutorials. So if you're enjoying my content, please do subscribe. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one.